So hi everyone, it's Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media and um, this is actually the first time I'm showing my face on YouTube. A bit exciting. <laughs> this is me. Hi everyone. <laughs> anyway, I um, decided to start doing videos like this because I think it's a little more personal and um, now that I'm doing miniatures and um, would like to do a lot of videos about miniatures um, I thought this would be the way to go. So I have finally completed da -da -da, my Slytherin common room and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's my first um, diorama like this. Um, it's about 112 scale, may it be slightly um, slightly off. <laughs> I didn't really measure things. Um, you know, one inch is supposed to um, be 12 inches in reality. I didn't really measure anything. I just eyeballed things. But I'm really happy how it turned out. And this is part three of this series. And um, I've now completed it. Um, but how did I get here? How did I get to this completion? Um, first thing was first, I did a whole lot of research online. I googled, I went on Pinterest, which was a lot of help. And I looked up movie stills um, on Google, if you're interested. And um, they had a lot of images um, from the common room. And I got as many as I could. And I just tried to find different angles of the room. Um, because in one picture, you're not going to see everything that's in that room. Um, so I looked up as many angles as I could. And sorry about that noise. <laughs> I think the neighbor has decided to start up one of his gardening machines. He's a gardener and <laughs> he's always got something going over there. So um, sorry about that if you can hear that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do a zoom in of the finished Slytherin room and then I'll talk a little bit more about my plans because I have decided to continue on with the Hogwarts theme and um, I'll discuss some of my plans with you. Um, I'm a little bit up in the air at the moment because I was thinking of doing kind of like a whole Hogwarts and, and doing it room by room and um, placing one on top of the other and building like this huge dollhouse Hogwarts type thing. Um, but thinking about it, I would have to put in a lot of beams and a lot of extra structure so that I could hold all the rooms on top of this um, and next to it as well. Um, and also, I'm not sure, I will show you uh, later in this video, but I'm not sure if I like how, like, if I put a roof on this, it makes the room really dark and then I have to, um, I actually have to put lights in it, which I can do, but it's going to look dark, really dark whenever I don't have the little um, LED lights going and I don't like that idea. I like how light it is like right now. So anyway, I will try to zoom in so you can get a better look and explain some of the things that I've completed um, since part two. So here we go. I'll try to get this in closer. Now bear with me because I really suck at camera work. Okay, let's have a look here. That's closer. Okay, hopefully that's close enough and I can point some things out. So, since part two, <laughs> I have done a lot, as you can see. Uh, in the background here, you can see I got all my artwork on the wall put in and painted. I repainted um, the entire walls because I think in part two they were still grey and I wasn't really happy um, with it being grey because looking at the photos back of the movie, the room was more sandstone colour. So I got, uh, so I repainted all that more of a sandstone colour the best I could. I'm still not 100% happy with the colour, but... It is what it is and I'm calling it done. Um, I also added some of this triangle work 
um, up the top. It's not exactly like um, it is on the walls um, from the pictures I pulled off the internet, but it it is triangles, okay? <laughs> Um, I got my fireplace finished, so inside there, um, which I will zoom up um, a bit. Oh, maybe I should zoom up now. So I'm going to grab my camera. Sorry, it's going to get all shaky here. Okay. All right. So if you can see closer here to my fireplace, I've got the little grate done there. And I put real wood inside the fireplace and I painted it with black acrylic paint, but left some of the wood uh, natural looking. So it looks like it's been burnt. There's also a hole I've put in the back of the fireplace. So I can put a little LED light in there and light that up. Next to it is the little gold um, lantern type thing that you can see in the pictures and the movie. And there it is there. That's the last thing I just completed. And now I've said that it's done. And um, the pillows are now glued to my little couches. Everything has been glued down. I have this little table and chairs over here with a little book on top. And this little green light um, that I made. And this actual green <laughs> blob on top, which is supposed to be the ball of um, the light, um, is actually a big blob of glue from my glue gun. <laughs> and I rolled it into a ball as best as I could. And then I painted it with um, green glass paint. So it's kind of like gives it almost a see-through look. Okay, I made the little tables down here which are seen in the movie and they are next to the couches just little coffee tables there's the coffee table in the middle there and I have a little Quidditch magazine on there and a little potions book as well sorry it's really hard to see where I'm filming and point to things I'm trying not to shake too much in the corner next to, can I see? No, this way. The corner next to the fireplace is a little stool, as seen in the movie, a footstool. And then I've added this painting here, which is the, um, what would you call him? He's the starter of Slytherin. I've forgotten his name, but he's the one that started Slytherin. Okay, so then we have the, <laughs> there's my tube, my face. <laughs> Here we have the two pillars that are seen in the movie. And in front are these lanterns here, uh, which are a light. Um, and I've just made them out of some metal sort of gold bars I had and some beads. And then we go down the steps. And then if we turn around and go to the other side of the room. Okay, so we're over here now. You can see I made the chest and I put on some little beads for handles there. And I just did a, a basic crisscross pattern on the front of the cupboard there um, because it was a very decorative um, cupboard in the movie or sideboard, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it was very decorative and I had no idea of how to do that. So I just went with a basic cross pattern. And on top of that chest, um, you can see I had this little boy statue, which I thought was perfect. So a little Slytherin, um, a little um, student there. Then we have a little chest that I saw in the pictures with this horn, which I made out of clay. Behind that is the mirror, and I tried to cut that out of the same shape um, that I saw in the pictures. And then I made this little candelabra here. I don't know if I can zoom in, can you see it? Um, out of bits from my father-in-law's captain's uh, ship that he gave to me and I'm using all the parts from it. Um, so I managed to make a little 
handle holder um, from that. And then I made some little candles out of, it was a little plastic pipe. And then I put black cotton as wicks in there. And here I had this, it was like a big um, bread, uh, like a gold and um, it almost looked like jewellery. It had like a peachy colour stone in the middle, uh, but I painted it black and made it look like a little, um, one of those trophy things um, that you get when you win. Perhaps they won some tournaments or something. Um, so I made that, which you can see in the movie, they have a few on the wall. I just did the one. And then over here, I might put you back on the phone holder because you're probably getting seasick by now. Just bear with me. Sorry, guys. Okay. So I'll try to move the diorama instead of the phone. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, over here I made the table the round table i've got four little wooden chairs there i've got a couple of um, lanterns on the table and all sorts of books and magazines and then i managed on this wall here you can see it i managed to put in two of these windows that you see in the movie and this guy here i saw in some images online that he was in the Slytherin common room I don't know who he is um, and he's actually featured on the wall next to the stairs coming down into the room um, on the opposite wall um, if you know who he is let me know <laughs> but I decided to put him there instead of there is supposed to be another chest of cupboards there which I just didn't want to put another chest in there because I, I thought it was getting a little full so I decided to put his painting over on that wall so that was my choice and I think I've explained everything else in my other in my other videos so what do you guys think I'm absolutely delighted with it. I can't wait to start another room. Do you have any questions for me? Um, you know, I'm really happy to answer any questions. Um, everything's been glued down. Um, so nothing's going to fall out now when I move it. You can see everything's glued and sturdy so oh, except for this chest I don't think I actually glued this chest down <laughs> now that I think about it um so I'm really happy with it so my dilemma is if I put a roof on it which will be the flooring for the flooring for the next room it's gonna get very dark there you go. Can you see how dark that then gets? It looks darker in real life. Um, that's still got a bit of light for some reason. But in real life, when I look inside, it's very dark. Now, I can add fairy lights. And I was thinking of doing that. So hold on a tick. Um, I've got some fairy lights that I've added to the fireplace. Um, now that's not coming up good on camera because it's right level <laughs> with the fairy light but at my eye level you can't actually see the fairy light when you look in it's it's um, hidden by the fireplace so you just see light coming out of it um, but that's an option I can do. I can also put lights behind these windows. But still, I don't like the idea that if I don't have any lights on, I'll just switch these off because it's not looking good anyway. It's very dark. And I don't like it. <laughs> but if I'm to build a Hogwarts type, um, a Hogwarts type dollhouse, um, that's how dark it's going to be. Whereas if I take the lid off, it's so much lighter. So I don't know how to get around that. I was thinking of maybe doing a half ceiling. 
um, but then that wouldn't really make sense. So if I just did like covered up maybe this half and, and sorry, do it that way. And that's kind of like the next room. Um, that could be an idea. Uh, I, it's something I have to think through. What do you guys think? Should I put a, should I build it like a dollhouse and have room on top of room? And there's obviously going to be a, um, another room next to this one. So it's going to be double the size, uh, double the width and then going up. Should I make it like that? Or my other idea was just to make singular room boxes like this and just, have them on their own and just kind of line them up on my shelf um yeah i just it's really a dilemma for me what to do at this stage so if you are watching um tell me what you think um should i build it like a doll's house or should i just do it singular rooms also on the outside you may notice, I'll just turn it around, it's still cardboard. And there's a reason for that is because I thought when I complete the whole castle, if it's like a dollhouse, um, I would do it all at once at the very end and I would make a type of plaster to make it very sturdy um, on the outside and make it look like bricks um, or old stone. So... If I don't do that, if I don't make it into a dollhouse and I have it as singular dioramas like this, then I'm going to have to complete the stonework now. And if you have a look on this side, I have very messily cut out areas to let the light in these windows. And oh, to let you know how I made these windows, I just used um, plastic. Um, that was old packaging from cakes and things like that that you get from the supermarket. It came in like a clear plastic and then again just painted it with glass paint and so they sort of remain see-through. Um, it does give it a very streaky look. I couldn't get the streaks out but I actually don't mind it. Um, so that's how I did that and then yeah, I cut out this corner section of the box to let the light through because without the light, it's very dark. So I wanted them to look like actual windows um, and let the light through. So, oh, I also stuck down some, a rug, which I just printed out a picture of a, a rug. Is it the Slytherin Room rug? No, it's just a rug that I thought would look good in the Slytherin room. Um, so I just printed that out on some A4 paper, cut it out and stuck it down. And I think it does the job wonderful. So there's always ways of getting around things. <laughs> um, I didn't have like a doll's house rug. And I think this does the job just fine. Also, I have, I don't know if I showed you in the last video, I've got my concrete flooring underneath um, that I put some Mod Podge on after I painted it to make it nice and shiny like concrete. So that was my flooring done. My tables are made out of uh, like a wood veneer, a very thin paper like wood veneer, which came again from the ship kit from my father-in-law. I've got so many pieces of it. Um, I can use it for years and I just to darken it up it was a bit lighter to darken it up I just put a wash of brown paint over it and then I put some uh, Mod Podge over the top just to protect it a little so there is Slytherin common room <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this video um, please let me know what you guys think now, my next room I'm going to be working on depends completely on whether I do the dollhouse scenario or if I do individual dioramas. So if I do the dollhouse scenario, I am going to be doing Snape's 
uh, office, which of course is full of all the potions and uh, potions and um, dangerous um, wizardry drugs, <laughs> um, if that's what you call them, um, and cauldrons and things like that. So I've got hundreds of little bottles to make. Um, because that is going to be the room that's next to Slytherin because both of these are actually the Slytherin common room and the and Snape's office are actually in the dungeons of Hogwarts so they obviously have to be at the bottom um, so that would be my next room if I decide to just do individual dioramas I have a toss up. I am thinking either, <laughs> and this probably seemed to your funny room to do, but I like it because I've seen someone do it on Pinterest and it made me laugh and it was a really good scene and it's different to what everyone else does. I've only ever seen one and <laughs> it's the bathroom where the troll comes in and starts attacking Hermione. So I was thinking of doing that bathroom and making a troll. Um, it would be the bathroom before the troll smashes it all up, but it's just as he enters. Um, so that's a room I would like to do. Or I'd also like to do Dolores Umbridge's office. Now I have done that in miniature and I'll just show you that one. This I followed a tutorial. I'll turn the camera around now to my lovely face. Hey, <laughs> you can see my milk and chocolate in the background. <laughs> Got to keep the sugar up. Um, so I followed a tutorial. Um, I think she's called Dark Raven Designs. And she does little matchbox uh, dioramas. And she does a whole heap of Harry Potter ones. I think she wants to make like 50. And so far she's done like 20 one or something like that but I did Delora Umbridge's one based on her tutorial and there it is there and this isn't matchbox size this is bigger because I thought there's no way I can do it as small as matchbox but it is smaller than my hand and then it closes up like this and it just has the door at the front and that's the back that's a window. It's supposed to be lead light, but yeah, I had the texture I had was terrible. Um, the marker, but I did all the tiny little cat plates there on the wall and the big cat portrait that I love. And then this side here is just so tiny, I can't believe I did it. So I did her little desk and a chair, and I did this little chair in the background that's by the window. And all those cat plates there on that wall as well. And then I have the little student's desk and chair as well. And her little lamp on her table and her book. Her nasty, nasty book. So I was really happy with that. But um, I have to give credit to Dark Raven Designs. If you're interested, check out her YouTube. She is absolutely fabulous. And she's a fellow Aussie, like myself. Um, so... I did that one um, so I would love to do that like this scale here like 1 12th something like that scale and probably put in a little more um, detail like I've done in the Slytherin one so that's my next idea as well but which one do you prefer do you prefer the troll bathroom or Umbridge's office I know everyone hates Umbridge but you know what, I hate Umbridge too, but I love her character and that's why she's so good. I mean, she did a great job. Everyone hates her, so, she, you know, it's, I, and I just love her room. I mean, come on, it's pink all over. Like, it's, it's a pretty room, I know. I mean, the cats would drive you nuts, but it's a pretty room. <laughs> okay, so um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more Hogwarts. Um, miniature rooms. Bye everyone!